Turkey. It's only Digital John with a guitar from 1959. Digital John. <laughs> what, what was digital in 1959? Uh, Your fingers. Nothing. Ones and zeros are still a thing. They're a thing. Have we invented True. digital in 1959? I suspect we probably have. Wasn't that back in the day where IBM would have invented mm. some sort of like five megabyte storage facility the size of a house or it's something, IBM. wouldn't it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no idea. Right. Um, Welcome back, John. How thank have you, you been? Thank you very much. Very good, thank you. Digital. Excellent. That's how I've been. Uh, well, John is back in his uh, comfort mode here as we are indeed playing with uh, the latest and greatest digital products on Danderton's mm. TV. Um, Vailton. Mm -hmm. uh, not a brand that I was terribly familiar with, uh, you know, six months ago, but uh, we started stocking them and we had a product called the Veilton GP200. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Uh, that earlier this year we decided was probably the best sort of affordable multi effects processor that you could buy. I'd still go buy that, I think. He would. You can watch that video up there. Um, at the time we did that video, I think the, the pedal was about 250. Um, and what with various geopolitical and global events that have happened over the last few months, that product's now 9,468,000. <laughs> no, that product's gone up to nearly 300 pounds now. Um, and what we have got, which is rather nice, is um, the GP200 Lite. LT. Yeah. Diet 200. Yeah. The diet version, yeah. The yeah. Uh, GP200 Zero, uh, <laughs> which is all the goodness in a slightly smaller box with a few less knobs uh, and buttons um, for 229, I mm. think it is now. So um, even cheaper than the original L, uh, GP200. Yeah. In a nutshell, I believe it does everything that the GP200 did. So it's the same software engine in there. Mm -hmm. What it doesn't have is the uh, mm -hmm. pedal on the end here, technical term. Uh, and it's got a few less um, instant access uh, controls for things like EQ. Yeah. Uh, perhaps we'll just slap a GP200 on the screen now so that you can kind of get an instant, oh, I see. A few less foot switches, another row originally as well. Yeah. He's right. Um, we are as yet undecided as to whether or not we think you should spend the extra for the GP200 or mm. um, dive on in and save a few bob with the 200 LT. But perhaps as this video goes on, we'll yeah, form an opinion. I believe the ins and the outs on the back are, oh, did it have XLR outputs on the back of the full 200? I want to say it did, because it was yeah, pretty Yeah, I flexible. think it did as well. Yeah. It was really pro, wasn't it? The it two? Was, we it were had like, everything on it, even mm. drums. Well, this has drums. Yeah, exactly. But like yeah. Axe Effects don't do drums. Oh, I That's see. The cream yeah, the Axe Effects. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Veilton for the win. Um, and this, the, I don't know whether the uh, the original didn't or did have an expression, because obviously it may not need it, but this has an expression because you can have a pedal optionally. Oh, I, th I think the bigger one had the built-in expression and an option and an, to have yeah, another so one. Yeah, so you could have two. But right. hey, so uh, mm -hmm. what we really liked about... Um, this Veilton though was the sounds are phenomenal mm -hmm. and it had one of the easier operating systems I, I think any device like this crams a bucket load of stuff into a relatively small screen and a small mm. package so you, you end up going it's quite easy to sort of get lost yeah. in it but I rather liked this so how about just to start with then that first um, sound oh I've just changed it Hey, sweetie. Uh, Les Paul um, was one that John very quickly knocked up to go with this guitar. Yeah. Uh, were you going to play some Money for Nothing, weren't you? Yeah, with... We, you yeah, I was, we were just messing around. John started playing um, Money for Nothing and I just went, didn't he have a wah -wah on there? And again, what I love about this, you end up just pressing the wah, -wah button and all of a sudden... A wah -wah. That Great. riff, I'm watching you play that going, there's a, there's a sort of a hint of smoke on the water about that with all those just... I'm not going to play well, that. I mean, it's all those just two string, it lots is. of Double open... It is, yeah. stops. Anyway, yeah, good stuff. anyway, really, really cool. Really like this. So let's just first and foremost go through a few of the, um, a few of the presets. So we go back to 1A. It's a GP200 LT. Here we go. 
Oof. Vivid. <laughs> We haven't plugged this into a guitar amplifier. You're not no. hearing any yeah. expensive kind of, you know, valve guitar head in the background. This is just John into this, into our computer interface. Although it does um, have the option where you bypass the cab and then obviously you could go into the power amp of an amp and come out of the cab. You know, we never so, did that with the with the, no. the, the 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 previous video of this as well, which is which is to say 100%. You can just switch the cabinet simulation off and just go into a normal. You know, you might have a Boss Katana or something like that. Thinking, oh, how do I get a few extra, mm. you know, toys? Perfect, perfect, perfect. So that was a. Uh, let's try the next one. Uh, 50s Plexi. Plexi. This is in no particular order. It's just out the box how it comes. <laughs> Ooh, imagine that. Back in, you know, when was that? 72, something Two like that? Or something, uh, yeah. And, you know, but a thousand million times louder. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What have we got here? Clean fuzz. Oh, dear. That's it. I don't know if I'm going to like. I can't no, play Black Hole Sun, but yeah, what, however that, where that goes. Was that going, was it? That's the sound, like. Yeah, oh, it's a weird cause if you it. I'm not going to try it. Go, John! Feels good. <sighs> nice sound, that. Rest in peace. Indeed. Arguably the greatest rock singer of all time. Hi, Hi sweetie. sweetie. Okay. Just a clean... It's got something pretty... Yeah, big modulation on, on, the, on the reverb. Nice. Look. We could go on and on yeah. for hours and probably will at some point here. But essentially, um, I, I, I suppose I ought to go back. If you don't even know what a guitar multi-effects processor is, it's like, just imagine a little box like this. You plug your guitar in and it's got like every amp there ever was into every cabinet with every effect there ever was. And you just basically build your rig. Could be as simple as you like. Could just be like an old Fender Deluxe and nothing plugged into it. It could have like, you know, 10 different guitar effects pedals going on. Yeah. Um, I've got it plugged into my laptop over here. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but it does bring up um, a rather um, easier to see mm. uh, editing screen. Um, you can do all your kind of, this is quite common, I think, with devices nowadays. You can share patches with other owners. You can you yeah. know, upload them, download them, or sideways load them. I mean, hey, yeah. I'm down with the kids, right? Um, <laughs> so it. what I wanted to show you, though, was, and I've, I've got to try and remember how you get into this mode now. How did we get into where you saw the actual chain of effects on here? So Can let's you just remember? tap any of these. Ah. And then it'll bring up the one you want. Let's just go back. So that's the effects chain, essentially. Mm -hmm. That was easy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> thank you very much, uh, Olivia. Um, <laughs> now, so this is the chain, right? Imagine the guitar goes in here. These are all the effects. The ones that are brighter are the ones that are currently switched on and the ones that are sort of um, shaded out are the ones that are off, but available to plug in if you want to. Um, and you can see you've got what, 10, 11 different things uh, in a row yeah. here. So noise reduction, volume, uh, pre EQ style effects, wire distortion, what amp do you want? What cab is it? Uh, it's, it's got a clever mode where you can either tell the amp to just choose the most appropriate cab. Or yeah, you cab can, matching, yep. yeah. Or that? you can just say, no, I don't want that. I want to choose my own cab. EQ, oh, uh, you don't have to even use cabs. You can load in your own third party IRs, yep. which blew us away on the, again, on the other one. For the price is nuts. Yeah. yeah. EQs, modulations, delays, reverbs, right? What else would you want? And then what I really liked about this was the sense that these sort of fast access buttons here meant that you could avoid, um, you know, spending hours going through menus and trying to find stuff. So if you wanted, for example, to just see what the amps were, you press the amp yeah. button and then you're literally just going up and down through. I mean, there were dozens of amps, including bass amps, interestingly. So mm -hmm. bass players, you know, you can get stuff too. Uh, so anyway, so you might find an amp you want uh, yeah. and then you just simply, I'm not even really choosing here. I'm going to find a Soldano SLO. Uh, you click it by hitting the top of the parameter button, and then you can see along here, gain, presence, and volume. In fact, perhaps you can see them at the bottom of the screen. So mm -hmm. these buttons now do your, they're like the kind of, the 
controls you'd get on the front of an amp. Yep. Click this again. There's a second page of bass, middle, treble. Um, and that's essentially how the whole thing works. You know, if we were sort of saying, no, actually what I want is a distortion pedal here. Um, I would like a, uh, I don't know, a Timmy. Timmy, here's Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Timmy. He's a little lamb with a lot to learn. Um, and again, gain volume base. Goodness me, you can tell I've got young children, can't you? Um, and it's like, I, I, I kind of, I love that because I'm, I'm often with these devices become slightly overwhelmed with, you know, oh no, where am I? And I'm yeah. stuck into, so. Once you get over the interface of having like a joystick control instead of a touchscreen, because it, like I initially went to just touch it because the touchscreen is so big, yeah. you would be, you know, you would think it would be touchscreen. What, but what no. was the one that we really liked that actually did have a touchscreen? Was, was that MX-5, the head rush? Yeah, it was. And that's probably about the same size screen, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. that's, Probably twice the price though. that's in that sort of four to five hundred e yeah. market. But yeah, if you love the idea of touchscreen and it is, it does make using the stuff easy. You can go down that route. But anyway, back to the Veilton. Um, you know, what I think would be cool. Actually, would be um, why don't you? I'm going to switch everything off, mm -hmm. and then you build us something. So okay. we now have a, as you can see here, we now have every single thing shaded out, actually, except for volume. I guess there's always a sense that you can turn the volume up and mm -hmm. down, right? Yeah. So um, build, a, build a simple patch, and then we'll mess around a little bit with things like the drum machines and the okay. loopers and see what we get there. <clears throat> so let's go, Les Paul. Um, I'm going to go, we've done the sort of classic rock Les Paul. Mm -hmm. Let's go for chunky new metal, relatively high gain, because that's always a good test. Okay. So using the old joystick, I'm going to call it. Let's find, what have we got? We've got Bogners, we have Bad Cat, Soldano. Would it be, I'm sorry to interrupt you there, it's John. Right. Just, would it be easier and a good opportunity to show the um, good point. The editing software, just as a sort of a, mm -hmm. if, I, um, if I start screen recording? So we are screen recording now. Um, now, bearing in mind, said the, the the software that I'm using here is completely free. Just download it from the Veilton website. Mm -hmm. We're hooked up using a USB cable plugged in over here, um, and I don't believe this is going to let me do anything that I couldn't do on here. Loading mm -hmm. IRs maybe might be something yeah. you have to do via the editor. Um, but essentially, I just thought it might be a little quicker. So you said that you wanted to do. So we're looking at amps. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's it. We hit the little button above it to turn it on. And then you can see over here, perhaps just a little bit easier, all the different amps there. So, so we're going right from the top. There's so many. Uh, we've got some Fendery ones by yeah. the looks of things. Fender, some matchlesses. Got a jazz chorus. Love that. Bogners. Um, bad Cat. Don't could, see many Bad Cats. No, could be, could be Dr. Z, I guess, a Z. I'm not sure. Soldanos. UK's got to be, they're all Marshall references, aren't they? No, Marshall. Flagman. Uh, that's a, that's Flagman. looks a bit, I don't know, Messer obviously is boogie. Yeah. What would Flagman be? There we go, I don't know. Got some uh, juice, uh, juice, I don't know, 5150s, Eagles. Dizzles. Diesels, yeah. Uh, and then we're into some bass, right, and yeah. acoustic as well, bass and acoustic. Right. So what do you think then? Are we still going for the early 2000s Les Paul thing? Sure. Let's do, Soldano, let's go. Yeah, Soldano. Soldano. So we hit this in, and then we add a cab as well. Um, and it's, there we go. So what does that basically sound like? So bridge pickup. Oh, Feels it's, cool. It's dirty. Now, interestingly, here we go. You, you can immediately hear um, some background hum. Fine. Again, pretty common, because we've got so much gain on the amplifier. Okay. So what I might just quickly do, pop the noise reduction pedal on on the end here, and I haven't, messed around with any of the settings on there. I've just gone with whatever gate one is. If you change fine. the settings, will it change it on here? Yeah. Give it a go. Um, he says, <laughs> uh, let's have a look. I can, what can you see? Patch volume? Uh, or, oh, or gate, okay, gate one or gate two. Oh, I see, I do it on the actual pedal. Yeah, look at that, look, just uh. go. Oosh, oosh, can oosh, I? Oosh. Oh yeah, it does it, that's cool. See? Tech, eh? We have the technology. But anyway, so there's the gate. Uh, right, back to the amplifier, and you can see everything is flat on the amplifier now. Yeah. So would you like me, in what cab did it pick? It picked a Soldano 4x12. Um, oh, you've got low and high cut on that. That's, indeed. Yeah, let's, I think, we'll leave them flat. Let's just say 
We won't change anything. Well, we, we can change stuff. We have more gain. But go on. What do you What do you want to do? Actually, good opportunity for the tuner. Hold this, and you can assign this to any. But it's a nice big tuning display. Yeah. You can even change the hertz if you want to be seventies really? rock what? mode. You don't like that particular car rental company? You could go Avis or. <laughs> uh... It's so old. So old. One day, comment below. When when should I, when should Captain Anderton just retire and give up on these, or do you still like the odd dad joke? Um, I don't really know what to do with the Soldan. I mean, you don't need lots of gain, but well, I'm I'm messing just for the sake of it. Yeah. What, what, I mean, what, are we going to add in the drive? Yeah. Well, I see. okay, can do. Well, um, I think we need a little bit of reverb next. But I do play. Come. I still think they've nailed that drive tone. This, mm. this is what we kept saying on the, the previous GP200 video. It's like, it's just really authentic. Go to like the Eddie Van Halen, like the EV51, I think they call it. Oh, you want to do a 5150? Just to you? see if they okay. get that like fizz and okay. rasp. Uh, was that down here, wasn't it? EV51, yeah. there we go. Bit out of what, tune, but what yeah. What cab did it change it to? An, an EV? I like the Soldano better. Yeah, got more mids, hasn't it? Ah, what's happened here? Oh, I'm on the cab, that's why. Let's compare to a real one. Yeah. I mean, let, let's compare. This is madness, isn't it? So Pete said, I don't know if you heard him, Pete said, let's compare it to the real one. We've got a Soldano SLO30 behind us. The Soldano 100 is uh, 4,000 pounds <laughs> just for the head. Yeah. <laughs> this is 200 pounds yeah. for everything. This is mad. Uh, oh, I've changed. I've gone to the OD. Can I just try yeah. the... Uh gives you a little bit of a break gives you like so a wikipedia says, yeah, entry yeah a little yeah. bit so based on the soldano slo also from wow. eddie van Hale. hales they've spelt <laughs> his name wrong poor eddie old van eddie. he's not famous at all is he uh, from eddie van van hales brown sound uh, steve vai's classic album passion and warfare was recorded on slo 100 didn't oh didn't know that i didn't know that i always thought that was a marshal um anyway so i was just messing around with a bit of extra treble and maybe a smidge and less gain because we're going to put a drive pedal in front of it. Oh, this is so easy to use. I'm feeling young. Um, so look, it's just, you got all the stuff, trails on the reverbs, loads of different reverbs. Sorry, man, you're struggling with your tuning there, No, no, aren't it's you? all right. Um, so a little bit of reverb, I don't want too much, you know, but let's, we can probably drop the mix down a little bit. How much have we got there? Enough? Uh, let's give it a go. It's a nice room ambient, yeah. I think, yeah. Uh, now we'll find a distortione pedal to put in the front. So I guess we're just going a bit, uh, it's a bit cliche this, isn't it? But I'm looking for a... Scream on. You think it's gonna be this screamer? Yes, it's green. We know we're in the right ballpark there. Yeah. I mean, noise gate needs to come oh, up a little yeah. bit now, doesn't it? Because we're, we're uh, putting a lot of gain in, but that's okay. It's getting the rattle of the... the old... I, you know what? I, <laughs> that's great. I'm just immediately like, it's 200 quid or 229 yeah. quid or something. It's just like... Links below. Links yeah. below, <laughs> like what Pete said. And that's the uh, way you get to our website, not the underarm deodorant. Um, wow. Yeah, I know. I'm on oh. fire today, aren't I? Dad so, fire. dad fire. Uh, do you want some you delay? <laughs> Let's find some yeah, delay, delay with uh, vintage rack. I don't know. I'm just. Oh, it's got yeah, a tail. some modulation and everything. Every 
every time I play some of these things, I just sit and go, how much better has something at 1,500 or 2,000 pounds got to be? Yeah, I know. You know, it's like, it's. I mean, because pro guitar players will still buy Neurals and Axe Effects and yeah. Helixes and Kempers and all that kind of stuff. But, and you just, you just go, I suppose one day we just should put the two side by side. Because it's just in a simple little room like this and messing around like this. I just sit there going, I can't, I can't work out what would be 10 times better than yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, like, I almost call it like cheap and cheerful, but it's like cheap and cheerful, but really good. It's not like compromising yeah. on anything. Let's, That's what it is. Um, so let, you know, Hopefully you, you've enjoyed that kind of, you know, high again kind of sound. Yeah. Let's go, um, let's just turn everything off and see what we could get. Like, what's a, maybe a more challenging, uh, uh, like, you know, like a, a AC30 or, yeah. or old Fender-y kind of vibe. Um, let's go right back to the top of this list and see. Uh, like break up. Yeah, that, that kind of untouchable tone vibe. Didn't, I didn't see any dumbbells actually here. So let's just try... I mean, Dark Deluxe is, so that's, I don't know if that, yeah, that's a Deluxe, isn't it? Where's a sort of like a not dark one, just like a normal Deluxe? Uh, oh, no, do you know, I'm dark, of course, doesn't mean tonally. It's blackface, isn't it? That's what it means. So that's probably the one. So it's chosen the cab to go with it, which is presumably some sort of, uh, right, a Deluxe 1 by 12 um, And then we need a lovely... Now the, the reverb I'm guessing is now is not on the amp, right? I see. So you you, you just okay. you go to reverb and then we'll just have a spring reverb somewhere here, uh, and turn it on. Mm, That's the spring. Probably want a bit more than. It's got that kind of clang, hasn't it? dynamic it's got a lot of range yeah. yeah obviously you if you if you don't have uh anything to plug this into headphones in the back is always an mm. option you know you can do all this via headphones um i mean there's so much to tell you about the the usb output on this is also an audio interface so if i wanted to record any of this straight into you know could be anything could be garage band if you've got free software or, or something like that but yeah. um madness right i want to see before we move on to things like messing with the looper and the drums which is fun i'm just going to see uh ha again about maybe what's a what's a nice uh like a timmy or something like that just over the top of a fender yeah uh, look, it's even given fair play, man. It's like little Wikipedia Paul Cochran, absolutely. He was the Timmy designer, or is the Timmy designer. Um, Shout out, Paul. Love. Okay, let me, just, let me just turn that down a little bit, and let me take the reverb down a little bit as well. Blues Breaker or Blues Mark. Yeah, they look, they've even got the font of the Blues Breaker right. Oh, oh again. Hang on. Let's just got to get that noise reduction pedal just tuned in a bit there more. Yeah. So, 
uh, you know, as you have probably worked out, it would it would take quite a long time to, to sort of go through this and yeah, demonstrate yeah. how it all might work. Um, take us through, obviously, compared to this, to the, the regular 200, we've lost yeah. four of the actual foot switches. But take us through the different modes that the foot switches can operate in and, and how you might still use it. Yeah, so obviously these buttons all refer to the sort of chain. So you go into global settings to access even further parameters sort of under the bonnet or hood, if you're American. Um, you've got input and output, electric guitar, line input, uh, or acoustic. Oh, it just changed to acoustic guitar. That's yeah. interesting. So obviously gain staging is important. You want to put the right thing into this and it, read it properly. Input level, um, cab. For the left or right channels independently, you can turn on or off. So you could go into the desk or into a cab. Well, no, into a, the power amp, which would then come out of the cab of an amp. So super flexible, but... Um, oh, oh, make sure you go back to guitar level. You're online at the moment. Thank you very much. Good spot. E, e G T. There we go. So onto foot switch, you'd click in this joystick, and here you'll see we've got sort of three sections. So we've got patch. That's essentially um, where these two foot switches would switch between patches, and then control would turn off a parameter that you can set, and you can set each of these four foot switches to do whatever in each of these modes. Uh, next mode, stomp. That's literally where you're in a patch, and then you've got different foot switches uh, that can control various things. Final one user where you can change whatever you want um, and that's all the boring <laughs> I'm stuff. glad you explained that so well there so eloquently John it didn't take us six <laughs> takes to do it either um, no it took so, two for the record <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's mess with drums and the looper I think this is where we're going to end it's it's a lot of fun I, I think as well I, it was about maybe I don't know five six months ago that we did the video on its mm. bigger brother it's probably worth, you know, if you've got questions, it might be worth having a whiz through that video as well, because uh, anything to do with how does it sound and what types of effects can I build will be the same in both. Yeah. So um, the uh, let's do the drums first because they're fun. <laughs> um, hold it down and the menu will go over to um, your drum menu. You can see your quick buttons across the bottom here are tempo, volume. Uh, I, think, you know, I can't remember what the sync switch did on this. So that'll be um, presumably your tap tempo and then you sync it to that BPM. Interesting. Uh, then over the uh, left hand side, you've got all your different genres here. And then you basically, once you're in the genre that you like, so you know, rock, you click it again, and then you're into your different styles. Um, and then essentially, if I remember rightly, you just hit the drum button again and... Shuffle. And that's just a stop-start thing. Oh yeah, I didn't know if I, 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 I was hoping we'd have something a bit more dynamic. Let's try classic rock one. There you go, John, take us away. There you go. Yeah. That's, uh, John is available for uh, weddings, so rock birthdays, tribute <laughs> bar mitzvahs, whatever you want. Uh, if you just need drums and guitar, yeah, me and my he's your man. Coming. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so that's drums. Looper, we hit these two buttons here and we open up the looper menu. It's 180 seconds of looping, um, so that doesn't mean you know, you can only play for 180 seconds. That means you can actually record and have going round and round and round three minutes worth of stuff, right? Which is yeah. crazy. You'd never be able to do, Pete might be able to do a three minute loop and actually have it the same tempo all the way through, <laughs> but normal humans can't. Um, and then essentially the buttons here, the four buttons here basically uh, relate to the, the blocked out bits here. Mm -hmm. So this is your record play, stop, delete, undo, redo. Pre and post is cool. Pre and post is what? Oh, whether it's before the effects or after the effects. That is yeah, good. Because then you can record and then tweak your tone instead of playing, tweaking, playing, tweaking. Yeah, it's a shout. And I mean, I always, funny enough, it's, de it's default mode is set to pre, but I would always have it at the post. end of the chain. Yeah. yeah, because what you want to potentially do is record the loop with one guitar setting and then change it. So I'm, I'm going to do that now. So we make it post. So actually, why don't we uh, record something over this? You'll have to count me in. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. So go. if I come out of this now, I change the patch.
And simple. Somehow, if I remember how to do this in the previous video of the of the bigger one of these, we actually managed to get the drums working with it as well. Oh yeah. Although it didn't loop the drums. So if I remember rightly, let's just delete that one. Delete that one. Let me just go back, put you back on your uh, high sweetie one. Uh, I think what we had to do was start the drums, then and go the into the looper, then go, Here we go one, two, one, two, three, four. I'm still blown away. For 200 quid. For I'm a lot. still. You 220, know, 220, I think. What was it? 220? Two, the, the new LT version, I think, is going to be 229, and, the, yeah. and then the bigger one, uh, somewhere between 280 and 300 pounds, um, depending on just how much sterling devalues over the next few weeks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. It's built well as well. Um, you know, it doesn't feel cheap. Didn't even use the quick start guide. I, I genuinely, genuinely. Big thumbs up. That, that's there's a huge thumbs up. Uh, right up there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks, Pete. Two with one. <laughs> Double thumbed, <laughs> and then separate yeah. for the. Uh... You have to do the first. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I'm 99.9 percent .9 certain. There's nothing else to tell you about Come this. On. I mean, <laughs> we've got. <laughs> We've got MIDI, we've got USB. Oh, you know what as well? They've, they've only gone and given you actually balanced TRS outputs. So although we haven't Luxury. got XLRs, we've got, we had a headphone socket. We've got an effects loop. We didn't even talk about that. If you've got a favorite oh, course, yeah. separate pedal you'd like to, to dial in. Incredible. Mother of Mary. Comes to me. Uh, it comes with this <laughs> handy um, map for putting under your baby's plate when they're having their dinner so they don't make a mess yeah. all over the table. I mean, they've just thought of absolutely everything. Uh, anyway, there we are. I believe these will be in stock in um, October 2022. For my birthday. We'll do my best. Uh, we'll do our best, sorry, to keep them in stock over Christmas. I'm sure this will be a hugely popular. I think that's the first time in 2022 I've said the word Christmas, by the way. Uh, you've heard that here first. End of September's not I know, it's, it's, it's yeah. acceptable. Um, that's it. Thank you so much, John. Thank you very much. Epic playing. Uh, tell me about your guitar just quickly. What this is that? This is an Epiphone. It's an anniversary model, isn't it? It's a limited edition. Um, what model is it? 1959. Les Paul. Les Paul. From Epiphone. <laughs> By Epiphone. It's really heavy and it's got, what's the finish? It's got a proper name for the finish, isn't it? It's, um, it's, it's a worn lemon burst finish. It's a warm lemon burst. Worn. Worn lemon -O -O burst finish. <laughs> worn lemon burst finish. First time. Um, Epic. Yeah, really good. Thank really you good. so much. See you later. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.